Well, good afternoon, guys. Max Power here. Got some good ones for you today. Let's check it out. So she's talking to men who say they don't need women. Their argument is, is that her body is made up of everything a man really needs. But the fact is, she's what we want to have, not what we must have. Wants and needs are very different. When you're young, you go after what you want. But as you age, you focus more on what your needs. We never stop wanting pleasure. We just find it elsewhere. Also, the cost of our wants increases as we age. When I was a young buck, I could have this girl cheat, monetarily speaking. Now I couldn't afford a woman like this. I'd rather buy a new table saw or a drill press. But anyway, let's get back to it. That's how they see all men, right? This girl right here, she's something else. She is replying to this comment, and I guess the whole discussion is on abortion. So let's see what she's got to say. I am a health risk. All my pregnancies have put me in jeopardy. How is this woman getting pregnant multiple times? And is giving birth, isn't giving birth to a child a health risk? You make a human inside your belly, you carry it for seven, eight, nine months, then you push it out and cut the cord. That sounds a sounds like a risk for any woman. I have medical problems, my guy. If I told you that I would make it illegal for you to be to get the help you need, if something happened to you, you bet your ass you'd treat me as an enemy. She has medical issues, and yeah, don't they all? Every woman is either sick or on medication for mental illness. And if a man goes to the emergency room, he's going to pay, pay cash or use his insurance. Women use Medicare, right? That's why they're always sick. It's free. There's something not clicking for you. My anger is justified when you're trying to take away my rights. Is our anger justified? Because we have no rights. And if you can't see why, you're the problem. Like I said, if you don't like abortion, mandate vasectomies for men. Stay out of women's bodies. This right here is a piece of work right there, brothers. Um, mandate vasectomies. Because it's our fault, right? Why is that not surprising? And sorry, sweetie, men can't get pregnant. And no, the reason why you can't reply to me is because you don't have any facts or logic. And God's not real. Well, I tell you, I don't see how this girl has any sex, but you know, that explains it right there. She said, God is not real. Well, no wonder she has no respect for human life. Or for her sales, for that matter. Little lesson I learned at church. So, God created man and then decided, oh, he needs a helper. So he created a woman. Now this girl's more like it. Church girl. And one on the left, I don't know. But um, I'm not sure about her pastor. God didn't make Eve because Adam needed a helper. He was doing just fine, walking around naked as a jaybird, petting lions and shit, but he got weak. He told God he was lonely, and then everything went downhill from there. And my pastor said, God did not create women because they need men. He created men because they need women. Therefore, that means that females should not be chasing after the men. That is the men's job. It is their need to have a woman. When they want to find you, they will find you. Boom. Well, she's right on that one. Shut up, sit down, and we'll come get you when we need you. 
But that's just my opinion, guys. You can argue my opinion, but you can't deny my experience. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you soon.